Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you're ready for the weekend as uh, we get inching closer and closer to Thanksgiving holiday. Hey, uh, I've officiated hundreds of weddings through the years as a pastor. I mean, I've done weddings in beautiful locations on bluffs overlooking the ocean. I've done weddings uh, on the beach. I've done weddings. I did a wedding on a houseboat where the, the groom and the groomsmen were in shorts and tuxedo t-shirts and the bride and the bridesmaids were in bikinis to match. Uh, I've done crazy weddings. I've done, uh, you know, weddings in the wind. I've done weddings in the rain. I've done weddings where it was freezing cold. I've just done lots and lots of weddings. Of course, I've also done plenty in churches as well. But here's what I know about every wedding that I've done. The couple wants a happy marriage. They want a marriage that is joyful and peaceful and loving. But what I found is that many people live in homes where there is arguing and fighting and accusation and just downright enmity. Absolutely no peace. Well, today, Proverbs 21, a couple different verses kind of speak to that. Proverbs 21, 9 says, It's better to live in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a quarrelsome wife. And then verse 19 says, it's better to live in a desert land. I don't think they're talking about Havasu. Better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. Now, ladies, don't get offended, but, you know, this was written to sons of uh, a king. So he's talking to his, to his boys, but it's true for all of us. We want peace. Nobody wants to live in an unhappy marriage, period. So what can you do if your marriage is less than joyful? Uh, here's one thing that you can do. Watch your words. Watch your words. I mean, your words should be kind and not abusive. I mean, after all, love is patient and love is kind. And if your words are not kind, you're not being loving. So if you want to be loving, you got to be kind. And then you should be encouraging, not accusative. A lot of times our words are, are full of accusation. Why did you do this? And how come you didn't do that? And instead of being gracious and thankful and positive with our words, look, if you want to live in a happy uh, marriage, you need to be encouraging and not accusing. And then thirdly, you got to be honest and not manipulative. Look, every one of us is tempted to tell those little lies that lead to a little bit more lies, that lead to manipulation because we're trying to get our way instead of trying to serve the other person, and that destroys trust, now, which leads to accusation, which leads to being abusive, and you just see how the cycle goes on and on and on. We've got to watch our words. We don't want to live in that unhappy place. So that's not going to solve all of your issues in your marriage. I, I just be honest about that. But it's one thing that you can do to change the dynamic of your relationship. And you may be thinking, well, I'm not the problem. But if one person in the marriage changes their words, it changes the tone. And when you begin to take action trusting God, it's amazing to see how God can redeem whatever your relationship situation is. And it's a whole lot better than living on the corner of a rooftop or out in the desert with no water uh, because you'll have a more blessed home. And I'm praying that God redeems your situation and blesses you with a joyful and peaceful relationship. Have a great day, Calvary. God bless.